Before there was Pops on the River, which we had last night, we had Pops in the Park. Chattanooga Symphony would perform a free summertime Pops concert out of Chickamauga Battlefield, but the Pops show at the 4th of July was a special event back in 1988. That's because the conductor of the symphony had just defected from the Soviet Union and he had a very special appreciation of American freedom as a result. Here is his story from 88. Big band music is truly an American art form and the Chattanooga Symphony dazzled about 2,000 with their performance this 4th. The symphony had to postpone the show for two days because of rain, but despite the cloudy skies, the show went on. It never stopped since we've been for years, and about two out of four times we've gotten rained on. We have spent the day on top of Lookout Mountain. It was raining all day, so we couldn't get much wetter down here. <laughs> <laughs> the show is more than a chance to get some good friends together and listen to some good music. It's also a chance to celebrate what America's birthday really means, freedom. And freedom is why the 4th of July is special for the Chattanooga Symphony's Maestro Jordania. It was exactly five years ago he escaped the Soviet Union in search of independence. I love this uh, holiday because it's, it means for me very much something. Uh, maybe uh, more than uh, for anybody else, you know, because I really appreciate freedom. And as a token of his appreciation, the symphony performance is the maestro's birthday present to his adopted country. Brian Banfield, News Center 12. They sound great. Thank you for sharing, Brian. Jordiana would eventually return to conduct symphonies in both Russia and the Ukraine. He passed away in 2005 in his adopted home in Virginia.